Okay, here is my 240 gallon reef tank from customaquariums.com. It's doing really well. It's been set up. I've had it fresh water for years and I finally moved it over to reef. But one thing I did change about it, I did away with the seamless sump underneath because as you can see, my got crappy light. There's a little bit of water damage from the sump, you know, a little splash here and there, and then they sit on the wood, and I just didn't want it to rot away, so that's going to be mounted externally here as soon as I get my basement refinished. But then 240, it flows down into this 100 gallon Rubbermaid tote. I'll flip some white lights on so you can see inside of there. There we go. Got some frag racks down there. No frags, but preparations using the pumps that they sent with it. I did not use their uh, UV sterilizer. That's not hooked up yet. I'm not sure if that'll kill Fido or not. I don't want to hurt the ecosystem. But um, we'll walk around here. There's my Refugium 55 gallon drum and DIY skimmer. The skimmer is what I believe 8 inch green PVC pipe 3 feet tall being ran off of that pump right down there and I've just got an air stone in it. it seems to be doing quite well hasn't failed me over the years had about had it running for about three years now no issues this is my 240 seems to be rather happy everything's doing good I've got my Jabeo or Jabo whatever the hell their big wave maker is shut these lights off now so that we can Everything's kind of waking up yet. The lights are ramping up. Oh yeah, what we've got for lights, we've got uh, D Sunny. I don't know what series they are. They change them so damn often. I've had these for about a year. My previous set I had for about three years before the, uh, oh shoot, what was it? Power supplies or something died on me and they weren't able to get me new ones, but. They're cheap, the controllability is freaking awesome. These sunnies do very well. Don't mind all the mess. She's a happy tank, she's a good tank. Everything from the 240 used to be split up between the 150 and 125. I'm sure if you've watched my other videos, you would have seen them and their processes over the years. Oh, let's see what I've got for some coral in here. I've got some rastas, some frog spawn, some octo spawn. Anemones don't quit splitting, drives me up the frickin' wall. Oh, I've got a clownfish. I can't remember what the hell she is. My alien eyed chalice here. He's about the size of my hand. I was about the size of a nickel a few years ago. He's growing freaking awesome. That's some SPS, don't know what the hell it is. Purple hammer just waking up. Got some Duncans there. Got a brain coral or something, I think. Some purple green hammers, some other SPS. Not a whole lot of coral right now, but definitely. Gotta get some more, just kinda waiting to see how everything handles the move from that system to this system it took me about a week just to keep everything on parameters and line and everything perfect because I had to hook up both systems pretty much together in order to ease the transition as much as possible but everything went super duper smooth once I started moving things it only took me about ooh, four hours to get all the rock work and everything set up and ready for corals it wasn't a bad day and old tank. Not sure what else to talk about here. Try to kill a few more minutes. If you guys got any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to get back to them. Oh, here's my clowns. I got two uh, Ocellaris clowns down there. Their anemone is somewhere down there. They've got all sorts of goodies. They're hooked up. All oh, my fish are kind of spoiled. What the hell? My wave maker tipped over my thing to chicken there. Mm -hmm. Looks like, oh well. Anyhow, I'm gonna take you over here. I'll show you the refuge. Um, these 
absolutely packed with Chato. Skimmer's doing pretty good. My auto top off. I don't use anything electronic or anything, I believe, in mechanical. But it's just a Red Bull cooler. The line coming out the side. We're here to have a little float. Keeps it solid, soft, solid, solid, stable. Don't ever have to worry. I don't like the electronic ones because they kind of vary. You know, it'll squirt water in in one big shot, whereas this thing it's constant, up, down, up, down all day long. Now, what I use for a heater controller, most of you guys go with your, I don't even know what people use anymore for heater controllers, but me, I use these things because they're a little bit more accurate. This is a Vivarium Electronics VE100. And honestly, it's probably the most inaccurate piece of shit aquarium or heater controller I've used yet. Now, I know it's for other things like reptiles and stuff like that, but hear me out. What I normally get is, um, it's a herp thermostat, I believe it's, oh shoot, herpostat, that's it. A herpostat, those things are pretty awesome because they do proportional heating, where as these are just on, off, on, off, Proportional heating is really cool because it actually ramps up, you know, it ramps down depending on what you need. Say your tank's at 79.7, but you want a 79.8, well, it's going to kick the heaters on, you know, 48%. And it's going to keep them at 48% until it hits there, and then it's just going to kind of level off, keep it as stable as possible. Now, if you're in a warmer climate, you'll need a chiller, you know, if you're trying to battle heat issues or anything like that, because it does not shut off. It's either you know, 1% or 100% or in between there. It'll go to zero if it needs to, but I like them to run about 30% 24-7. Keeps everything a little bit more energy efficient and keeps your your temperatures rock, rock solid. So, um, if you guys got any questions, I guess let me know. Herpostats, definitely my go-to for the heater controllers because the accuracy is ridiculous. I like to keep my tank at 79.7. When I had the Herpestat hooked up, it was 79.7. Never anymore, never any less. It was 79.7, 24-7. It was freaking beautiful. Now this one I can get, it's about 79.8 to like 80.1 or 80.2 and you know, it's not a bad variation but I feel like slow and steady wins the race, you know. Keep shit steady. Keep shit happy.